is Mayor Ryan Andrews with our Mayor's Minutes from our September 6th Auburn City Council meeting. We began during the community hall last night by having, uh, there were two different board appointments. First was Indian Pines Recreation Authority. Uh, Bob Norman has resigned. He'll be moving away from Auburn to be with his family. Thank you, Bob, for all of your service, not only to Indian Pines, but being a former multi-term city council member and just your family has invested a lot in our community for many years and all the best to you as you move forward. The city council appointed Vince Swanson to fill Bob's term and that term will go uh, until June the 20th of 2023. Thank you Vince for your interest in Indian Pines and we appreciate everybody who also applied for this position. And then the Lee County Youth Development Center, uh, Ms. Cynthia Boyd was appointed to, uh, to a full term with the Lee County Youth Development Center. This term begins on October the 1st of this year and will, is a four-year term that will extend to September the 30th of 2026. I want to thank Charlene McDaniel who served two full terms. Thank you Charlene for your service to the Lee County Youth Development Center and we look forward to working uh, with Ms. Boyd my former fifth grade teacher and an outstanding resident of our city. During the regular agenda last night, the City Council recognized our outstanding employees here at the City of Auburn, and Bo Maton is our Employee of the Month. Bo comes to us from the Inspection Services uh, Department, and I have a memorandum here written by John Hoare, uh, Inspection Services Director. I'd like to read you a part of that memorandum. Bo's dedication to his job and community is evident in his recent actions en route to perform inspections. He came across a stranded motorist with a flat tire on Sugar Jordan Parkway, and upon seeing her distress, Bo stopped to assist. When she got out of her car to check the tire, she closed the door, which struck her on the back of the leg, causing a nasty cut that later required stitches at East Alabama Health. Shortly after Bo stopped, an Auburn police officer arrived to assist. Bo proceeded to change the flat tire so she could drive herself to get medical care. The police officer who was assisting felt that if it was not for Bo's attentiveness and compassion, she could have quickly became a heat casualty if she had been stranded much longer because it was very hot that day. So thanks, Bo, for doing a great job on, for the City of Auburn uh, and Inspection Services, and thank you for being a great citizen and helping those in need uh, during a very difficult time. We also had a number of service awards, Logan Kipp with our planning department for five years and Misty Landrum with our water resource management five years, Sarah Derrick with Parks and Rec for 15 years and Leslie Woodham with finance for 15 years, Michael Bolton Public Works 20 years and Michelle Wall for human resources for 20 years and Wilma Core will be retiring after 30 years with Parks and Rec and congratulations Wilma. Once again, there's a great video recognizing all these individuals that you can access on our city's website. During the regular agenda last night, we approved four different alcohol beverage licenses. Uh, the first one was for Town, Town Place Suites uh, by Marriott. This uh, property is located at 1117 South College Street. There were two different um, alcohol beverage licenses approved for Sunny Enterprises doing business as Good Karma. One of those uh, restaurants is located at 132 North College Street. The other is located at 1409 South College Street. And then finally, a new restaurant will be opening soon <clears throat> at 2298 East University Drive called The Vintage, and they applied and received their retail liquor ABC license as well. Under contracts and agreements last night, the City Council approved a contract with American Pride Septic Services for a new septic system at Kiesel Park. City Council approved a contract with uh, <clears throat> approved a contract with Communications International to purchase eight portable radios and accessory units for our police department. This was a budgeted item. City Council approved a contract with C Spire Business for Cisco Flex voice licensing and software support. This is a renewal and this supports our 911 system and our voicemail. City Council approved another contract with C Spire Business for a Cisco router license and upgrade. This is $20,000. City Council approved a new contract with Davis Direct for our open line printing. City Council approved a contract with Empire Pipe and Supply to purchase uh, over 5,000 linear feet of 8-inch ductile iron water main pipe. This is $163,000 and the city is going to purchase this pipe in preparation for the new MLK multi-use path project. Uh, this is to hopefully um, secure the pipe in time for the project to be built and not um, and for the city not to be caught up in any supply chain issues in the future. And that really leads into the next uh, item, which is a contract with Inline Electric Supply. This is the purchase uh, traffic signal poles and mast arms for the Antelope Drive and East University Drive intersection improvements. This is a little over $100,000. Once again, the city is trying to get out in front of this project and purchase some of the supplies that will be needed. So once the project begins, 
uh, we will not be waiting for those supplies to come in to finish the finish the work. The City Council approved a contract with Melton Construction and Masonry for the downtown compactor enclosure. This is $43,000 and much needed in our downtown parking area. The City Council approved a contract with ProLogic uh, ITS and this is the purchase of police vehicle equipment and installation for 10 marked and 3 unmarked police vehicles. And the City Council approved a contract with Southern Software. It's an annual renewal of our mobile data information systems for our police department. And then finally, the City Council approved a contract with Temple Inc. to purchase traffic maintenance supplies. And this is batteries and cameras and traffic signal controllers and bulbs that we will store in the future so when we need those, we have a place to go and pull from. And once again, supply chain challenges are creating a, a different kind of way of operating from a, a municipal standpoint. That's all on our agenda last night. Just a couple of announcements uh, that I have is this Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning, the Auburn Chamber of Commerce will be hosting a blessing of the city at Toomer's Corner. There'll be coffee and prayers provided for our community. And then a little later on that morning at St. Michael's Catholic Church, uh, they will be hosting their annual Blue Mass in recognition of 9-11, which will be coming up very soon. That is at 9 o'clock as well. The Auburn Public Library is encouraging everybody to get their library card. This month is uh, Library Card Month, and so... Uh, this is another opportunity for you as a citizen to go by our outstanding public library and see all the things that are going on inside of that library and pick up a, uh, a library card for you and your family. I was able to participate recently in the first ever uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving Walk here in Lee County and this started uh, and began at Auburn Public Safety Center uh, a couple of Saturdays ago. We appreciate the volunteers and the organizers from the MAD organization for putting this on and uh, it's very important that all of us uh, help encourage um, safety and good behavior as we go into football season and a new school year. Uh, please do not drink and drive. Also recently the, the City of Auburn hosted the Governor's Conference on Tourism and I was invited to come give a welcome and we, it was a very proud moment to host all the tourism professionals from across the state of Alabama. Actually, the governor came the next day. Governor Ivey came and joined that group uh, here in Auburn. But uh, what a great group of people who are providing a great service to many of us and certainly our group here in Auburn will like to do a great job on behalf of our city. Congressman Mike Rogers has made a couple of different visits to Auburn in the recent weeks. Uh, one is a, a was a part of the Alabama League of Municipalities Congressional Luncheon and then Congressman Rogers came through the city uh, doing general business recently. Just another opportunity to tell Congressman Rogers thank you for all of his great work and his support of all things that we do here in Auburn. I want to congratulate the Eagles program as they get started here with a new academic year. All 24 of their students are gainfully employed in our community and I want to thank every business and every uh, organization that is employing a student that is participating in the Eagles program, I want to say thank you uh, for providing these young people a place to work uh, as they go through the Eagles program at Auburn University. And finally, I want to say congratulations to all of our citizens who have just recently been elected to the Auburn City Council. Uh, those members will be sworn in on November the 7th. Um, but congratulations to the new members of the council. Congratulations to the current members of the council who won their second term. And we all look forward to getting together uh, beginning November the 7th and trying to do the great work of this city. In the meantime, we'll continue to uh, make the best decisions on your behalf during September and October with our current council. This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes. Have a great week.